pacing back and forth Oh, I don't understand why you're standing right here All your shots have scored No, scratching at the scars you left on my skin But we fight and we fall and we rise through it all Till we find what we want and we lose it all again Your touch on my skin, pull me close, take me in Just me, just you Welcome to episode three of My Declutter. I'm gonna be doing these in sections, so I'm kind of pulling out a bunch of different products. This one here is by Danessa Myricks. It is the Twin Flame. I believe it came in a trend mood box. It's a liquid eyeshadow. It's super pretty. I forgot I had it. The wonderful thing about doing declutters, so now I can use it. So I've got two of these actually. This is the first one. Yep, Danessa Myricks Beauty. I don't think I've tried too much from her brand. Have you guys? Let me know if there's something you like from Danessa Myricks. Okay, so here's the other chrome. It's so pretty. Definitely for a topper on your eyelid. Look at that. They just shine. I'm loving it. Okay. Let's move on. I've got more liquid eyeshadows. That one, Eloise, I think. Yes. And I got this pretty recent. It looks like a beautiful bronze shade. Let's see how she swatches. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You could do create an easy look with this and be on the go. That one color on the eyelid, some eyeliner, a lash, or mascara and you're good to go. This is basically the same color by Radiant Liquid. Forget where I got this one from, but look, it's so similar. There's like a tiny, tiny bit of difference and I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera or not. This here, I forget, I Dazzle, I forget the brand. I don't know if the brand is I Dazzle, but it's another liquid eyeshadow and it's a darker brown. Look how pretty. Oh, I love that. I'm gonna have to start using these for easy, quick looks. Okay, here is KVD Beauty Everlasting and wait till you see the color. This is insane. So it's a liquid eyeshadow. Guys, you ready for this? Isn't that crazy? Barbie pink. I'm in love. Okay, so I have several Morphe lip toppers and these are absolutely gorgeous. I definitely do not use them enough but I've got like six or seven. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Wait till you see it on my hand. Yeah, they are super, super pretty. I got them, I think last year around Christmas time, they had a sale on these. So I had picked up a bunch of them. Look at that. That one's a little more sheer. That would go perfect on top of a lip with a purple eye. This one here, oh, like a mauve kind of, but of course you got the sparkles in there. I just love a lip with a little bit of glitter on it. I just think it looks amazing. Look at that, it's got a gold tint to it. That's my glitter glue from NYX. It's a pretty good one. Actually, Just Anne recommended that a while ago. And there's a Glitz and Glitter Primer. I do have quite a few glitters. I don't use them very often. Um, that one's from Ulta Beauty. This one, I don't remember where I got it from. When I get PR, sometimes they'll send me the real little ones. Um, that came when I got my colored contacts. 
that one too. That one's like a purplish. I even have a Makeup Geek one. I can't remember where I got it. I think I ordered it from them. I'm not sure. I just, I don't really have time for a lot of glitter. This here, the Natasha Denona Dual Chrome, it just looks crusty to me. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty, but I don't think I'm ever going to use it, so I might as well toss that. But as you can see, it is pretty. It's decent. I cannot read the label on this. I'm not sure where I got this lipstick from, but I think it was probably one of those things I liked for about a week. It's metallic, but it's not really dark. And I don't I don't think I'm going to use it, so I think I'm definitely going to get rid of her. Okay guys, so welcome back to part three. Here I'm gonna be showing you my setting powders. Um, there's a few I think I've given away. And I'm gonna show you guys what I have left. I got a couple, of, well I got one of these I know at TJ Maxx. This one here is Anastasia Beverly Hills. Figured I would clean her because they go, do have a little bit of dust on them. Okay, and this one I think is Deep Peach. This blends in with my skin. It's a very light tint. You really don't see it at all. Um, but I like to use that when I'm tan. Then I got recently in the Boxy Premium the Translucent Setting Powder by ABH. I like this one a lot too. The granules, it's really fine. Like, I really, really like the smooth, not powdery feeling setting powders. And this one definitely doesn't feel powdery. But it gets the job done, you know? Then I've got one or two that I've had for a long time. This one here, the Becca, I've had her for a long time. So I'm thinking I might might be time to get rid of her. Let me see. Hydra Mist, yeah, this is from 2019. So I'm going to be getting rid of her. I haven't used her. So <gasps> let's move on to the Ciate London. Wow, there's a lot of makeup on these. Okay. I think this one is the coconut. It wasn't bad. Very fine. Doesn't really leave anything white, so it is translucent. Let me look on the back. Everyday vacate. Oh, I can smell the coconut. Yeah, so we'll hang on to her. It hasn't been too long. I'll probably use her to set my under eyes. Okay. Then I've got a new one here. The Beauty Bakery Flower that I just got in one of those subscription boxes. So I only opened her during a video. I haven't tried her yet. Very fine, very smooth. Blends into nothing. I'm sure it's translucent. Let's check. Ooh. Yes, oat translucent. So, oat. I guess it's got a hint of that in it. <laughs> and it's a setting powder. It also says 12 months expiration. Okay. This baby I have not used in a long time time. I'm thinking two years. It is Becca's Blurring Powder. I, I got a lot left. Wow. I used to really like this when I was really tan. 
it did a nice job at blurring the skin and it had a lum luminosity to it. Let me see if I can get that to show up on camera. I don't know if you can really see it, but it definitely makes a difference. Okay, I've got to get rid of her though. Oh, I'm so sad. I hate wasting. Okay, which brings me to another setting powder. This one here is Jacqueline's, and it's in the shade Brilliant, and I use this quite often. It's just so, oh my gosh, it feels like silk. It feels like silk. Look at that. And look at the luminosity. This is a perfect glow for those of us that have mature skin. It's not a blinding highlight. It's not something that's going to settle into fine lines. I just really like it. I definitely want to get me more of these. Okay. Ah, here's another one that I'm going to have to get rid of. This is the Jeffree Star Banana Powder. I got this and used this when it first came out. Um, which is probably about two years ago, and this was a very thick kind of powder. I mean, it feels silky and creamy, but it definitely settled into fine lines, so she's got to go. Too old and didn't work. Okay, now Fenty Beauty, her lavender powder. Um, I think this is one of them that made me kind of shiny. I'm going to have to revisit it. This is probably from about a year ago, I'm thinking. So she's not expired yet. Or maybe she is. Let's look on the back. It says Pro Filter Lavender. This is also good for brightening. Lavender is really good for brightening. It says 12 months. We're going to hang on to her because I'm not really sure. I'll have to figure out when I got her. Okay, I got this here, Skin Deep Setting Powder, Moonstone. Um, I'm not really sure what brand this is. Absorbs oil, mattifies, ultra fine translucent powder. Huh. This one says 24 months on it. Ooh, okay. I don't think I've ever used her. Oh, she's lum luminous too. Let me try that back down here and just see. Yeah, do you see that? She's luminous. I don't know if she's 100% translucent. It is pretty blending into pretty much nothing, but I'm going to have to try her now that I realize I have her. Okay. This one here, the Tarte Setting Powder, I don't know if I've ever used this. I think I have once or twice. I Oh my gosh, this is so creamy. Oh, it's so silky. <gasps> it's probably about a year old. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm definitely going to keep her. What does it say? 12 months. Cutting it close here. All right, this I got within the last six months. The Tarte Shape Tape Translucent Tan Deep. Not really sure why they do that. They give it a color name and then they say it's translucent. Okay, as you can see, I've used it. And it is a really nice powder. I enjoy it. Okay. Hourglass. I got this in a sample when I ordered from Sephora and I used it for like months straight. I don't think there's anything left. Very, very little, but you know I ain't gonna waste that. So I'm gonna use this up <laughs> next time. It's Hourglass Veil. I would love to buy this. I know that it is something I would repurchase, but I know it's pretty expensive. So, oh, I just got this one. Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. It hasn't been opened yet. I bought that when I bought my Bare Minerals Foundation. This is the mattifying one in Natural Medium 15. And I use this, if you guys see my latest video, I use this underneath my foundation. It's got a little bit 
of a luminosity to it. It's super fine and it blends very, very well. Okay, is that it? I'm sure, no, I don't know, let me see. I got, oh, oh for banana powder. I got this pretty recent and I haven't tried her. Oh, she looks pretty. We're gonna have to try her. Ooh, that's a really nice banana shade. Blends in beautifully. No scent. All right, so now this is where I keep them in. I keep my setting powders in here. This is actually the, one of the cases from Morphe, Jaclyn Hill's Morphe collaboration brushes. So I'm gonna clean that out and put my setting powders back. Okay, so I had a bunch of different things sitting in here. I've got these little things here. It's just like an arts and craft kind of thing. I guess I used them for like Halloween a couple years ago. Okay, so my Wet n Wild Gary. This is a brush cleaner. I haven't used it yet, but I should definitely start. I've also got the Wet Brush Cleaning System by Lavish. I'm pretty sure a lot of us got this in Boxy, I think it was. Yeah, I've used it a few times. It's pretty neat and it works well. Then we've got this one here that also came in a subscription box. Quick Color Switch Dry Makeup Brush Cleaner. I don't use these really too often because I don't want bacteria to build up on my brushes. And even though they can take the color off, they can't really take the bacteria off. You know what I mean? So I'm going to leave these in here. This is my cut crease stamp. It definitely needs to be clean. It's a tool, so I'll keep it. But I haven't used it in a long time. Okay, I've got the Wishful Moisturizer. I got this a couple months ago. I think it was in the Huda Mystery bag. And I've used it a few times. I'll probably end up passing it on to my daughter. It, um, I don't really like moisturizers like this. It's got that tint to it, like iridescent, and when it goes on, you can see that on your skin. And I have texture, so it just accentuated the texture that I had. So, I don't want it really. Okay, then I've got, the thing, I think this was like $95. This is a toner by Biro, I think, New York. Um, I'm definitely going to use her up. I'm still working on the pharmacy toner, I believe. So let's move on to this. I've got a few of these. It's First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothing Primer Moisturizer. I hate it when they call things primers like moisturizer. It's got a little bit of a tint to it. It's very brightening. It definitely does the job there. But it's like having a moisturizer, so if you're dry, of course it's great. And it's not a heavy weighted moisturizer, so I do use it. I like the brightening effect most. Then of course my famous Professional by Benefit. This is my favorite primer. I'm going to be venturing out and using some of the other primers I have too. Some of the ones I used to use in the past. This nice and simple and clean and it doesn't leave residue and it feels super soft all right this i got pretty recent eye lift waterproof primer by thrive cosmetics Can you see i haven't used her yet i think i opened her yeah oh my okay what it mm, that's a different type of applicator for primer. I'm not used to seeing that. Um, it's got a little bit of a glow to it. I'm gonna have to try it out. This I haven't used in a while. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. I got this when I got my Norvina Volume 1 palette 
and it is so bright and you just need like a tiny 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 bit is there anything left but it oh yeah it works really really well i just i don't think there's much left in here well see and now i'm wasting it but look <laughs> It makes those eyes white and you definitely have to make sure because it's thick that you really blend it in. I do have the Tatcha the Silk Canvas. I got this in Glam Bag X but I'm going to be sending it to a friend because it does not work well for my skin. I did a video using this in a video explaining about it. It's super silky. It's got tons of skin softeners in it. I really need a matte primer. This one says it's for all skin types, but it really isn't. It needs to go to someone that has normal to dry skin. Okay. I got a moisturizer in here. This needs to go to my skincare collection. All Night Moisture by REP. Then we're getting into eye primers, my all-time favorite. This is MAC Paint Pot in Bare Study. I've had it so long, you can see. But I'm not done with her just yet. She's probably been around for two years. It might be getting to the time where I have to get another one. Okay. Hey Voss, this here is a lip balm. I've used it a few times. I've got so many that I'm just going to toss it. Okay. Maybelline Eye Studio. Yes, Karen has drugstore. Some. This is a really good gel liner. It's been sitting too long. It's two years old, but this has worked beautifully. This is what I started when I started doing wings. I used this. All right, she's going to go. Then I've got the Anastasia Brow Pomade. I think this is caramel. Yeah. What I noticed the last couple times I used it was that it stained my eye, my eyebrow. I could, it like rubbing it off, you could see the stain. And I thought it never happened to me before. So I'm thinking it might be past its expiration. Oh my gosh. This has a six month. Does that say six months? Yep. Oh, she's got to go. Oh my gosh, six months. That's it. And those things are like 30 bucks. Okay. I have got, they call it a cream color. This came in BoxyCharm, the takeover box with um, the Norvina Pro palettes. It's really good for gel lining. It's also got a six month expiration date. The color is Jet. I really like it a lot. It's a really good formula. Let me see if I can show you guys. Nice and creamy. Very pigmented. I'll put some on me. Love it. This is definitely one of the things you'd want to use if you're starting out with wings. Definitely. Okay. I got this was it in boxy or was it in ipsy i think it was ipsy this is the tarte it's supposed to be an eyeliner in rose gold but it's not honestly this here is a cream shadow there is nothing in here for eyeliner properties the way that this formula is it's so creamy and it just blends out nicely into like this slightly rose gold color, but you could never use this for eyeliner. You'd be sitting there all day trying to get it perfect. So cream shadow, that's the only thing you could use it for. Okay, not too long ago, I got this eye primer too, the beauty crap stuck on you. I like it, but this is really thick and sometimes your shadows will stick to it. So if it's not blended properly, it's gonna cause you to have issues with your shadow. Okay, the Tatcha Water Cream. This is, this is a sample I got from ordering something from Sephora. And I do like it a lot. 
it's it's nice and light okay wow um ncla beauty sugar sugar lip scrub i like this i like this better than jeffrey's lip scrubs because it's the consistency it's easier to use it's not a hard sugar it's sugar but it's got something in it with the wet effect it gets my lips a lot it will clear out the dryness a lot easier. All right. What else? I think we're done with this part here. This is where I kept my primers, my eye primers. 